friends welcome to my channel I'm Arpita Karva and this is a video where I'm going to address a question that a lot of students asked me in the Ask Arpita doubt form and the question was that ma'am there are so many writers there are so many chapters how should we revise because of COVID-19 a lot of students were able to uh, cover the entire syllabus in the lockdown period and now they are revising for the upcoming net exam but the question that comes in their mind is that they have read so many books they have referred to so many uh, websites they have made so many notes how to revise all of them because as you all know that without revision nothing is going to stay in your brain and if nothing stays in your brain that how are you going to attempt the paper correctly so let me tell you very clearly that if you look at the syllabus then there are 10 units in paper 1 which is common for everybody and then in case of paper 2 it depends upon your subject for example in case of English literature there are 700 plus writers 3000 plus books that you must be knowing in order to crack this exam in case your subject is history or geography or political science you would be having chapters in place of writers but irrespective of the subject the syllabus is really huge because the UGC net syllabus of paper 2 comprises of whatever you've studied in your bachelors as well as in your masters plus some really really important areas which were not taught to you in your college for example in case of English literature we are only taught some hundred writers in our bachelors and masters but in net the syllabus is so vast that there are somewhere around 700 writers from which they can ask questions. So looking at this huge syllabus, the first challenge was to cover the syllabus, which I'm sure you guys would have done till now. And the second target is to revise it so that everything is in our tips. So in this video, I'm going to tell you a very simple strategy on how you can revise the syllabus in less than a week and then you can give your mock test and see uh, if you are able to outshine your own target. The first most important technique that you can use for revision is flashcards. Now, what are flashcards? Flashcards are basically A5 sheets. Uh, so if you have a computer paper, which is also known as A4 sheet, you break it into two parts. OK, so that becomes a flashcard. So from each A4 sheet, you get two flashcards. Now, if you have these flashcards in your hand, what you simply need to do is that start with a chapter and write down all the important points on different different flashcards for example in a chapter there are 10 subtopics so for each subtopic you prepare one flashcard and you jot down all the important pointers in that particular flashcard so it has to be very very concise very brief you don't need to write stories you just need to write pointers which you are going to uh, remember so that if a question comes you can definitely get it right so you need to prepare set of flashcards from each chapter it might take some time of yours but i'm telling you that once you have made flashcards the revision is super super easy so what happens next is that one you once you have the pile of flashcards you need to start revising so you just need to look at a flashcard and you need to recall all the information that you wrote in that particular flashcard about a subtopic and once you have got that right you just flip it and keep it somewhere else then you start with the second flashcard so once you start revising you have three piles in front of you the first pile contains the flashcard which you remember so if there's a topic which you remember thoroughly and just by looking at the topic on the flashcard you were able to tell all the pointers that you have written then that flashcard goes into the first category that is i remember this second is i don't remember it at all for example you looked at a flashcard and you got blank you were having no clue that what were the points in that particular topic that flashcard goes into the second pile and and then there's a third pile which is I sort of remember so these flashcards which you are going to put in this pile will have topics which you kind of remember and you don't remember at the same time so thoda thoda yaad hai but thoda yaad nahi bhi hai so that goes into the third pile 
once you have done this kind of revision it's very very easy for you to next time revise because you know that the first pile where you remember everything you don't need to revise that at all but your most emphasis should be on the second pile where you don't remember anything so next time aapka revision ka jo load hai wo apne aap aadha ho gaya kuch uh, फ्लैश कार्ड जो आपके फर्स्ट कैटेगरी में चले गए उनको आपको रिवाइज नहीं करना है अब आपको एम्फेसिस देख के किन को रिवाइज करना है सेट बी एंड सेट सी विच कंटेन्स सॉर्ट ऑफ रिमेंबर टॉपिक्स एंड देन वंस यू स्टार्ट रिमेंबरिंग इवन फ्रॉम द सेट टू यू कैन पुट दोज फ्लैश कार्ड्स इन द सेट वन सो दिस इज हाउ वेरी इजीली यू विल बी एबल टू रिवाइज द एंटायर कोर्स एंड लेट मी टेल यू फ्रेंड्स दैट फ्लैश कार्ड्स आर सो इजी टू रिवाइज दैट विद इन थर्टी मिनट्स यू कैन रिवाइज अ कंप्लीट चैप्टर और रियली रियली लेंदी चैप्टर बट यू कैन रिवाइज द एंटायर चैप्टर इन जस्ट थर्टी मिनट्स on top of that we all know that practice makes a man perfect so if you start having this habit of revising through flash cards every day whenever you are free you can just take uh, the set of flash cards of a particular chapter and within 30 minutes you can revise that chapter and you will not even know when you will complete the revision of the entire course so flash cards is a very very effective method of revision and because of covid 19 you have a lot of time in your home because most of the schools and colleges are closed and even if you are working mostly people are working from home so you have a lot of time you can invest that time in making the flash card so that just before the exam date you can flip the flash cards and revise another solid method which you can use for revision is by making flash cards for the mistakes that you are making so let me tell you friends that when you have completed the syllabus most of you would go through the past year question papers or some sample question papers and you are going to try and solve it now the problem comes when you got certain questions wrong so you've got 20 questions wrong out of 100 questions in one particular past year paper now what most of the students do is that they are just going to forget all 100 of them and they are going to start and uh, solve another set of question paper that's where you make the mistake because if in case you got any question on the day of the exam from those 20 questions which you got wrong in that case you're not going to remember the correct answer because you've not revised them so here the flash cards come to your rescue again so whenever you solve any past year paper or any sample paper and you get certain questions wrong make sure you write those questions in a piece of flash card and you made another stack of flash cards having questions which you got wrong so just before the exam you can flip those questions one by one and revise them again because revision of mistakes is a very very crucial thing for any competitive exam the students who top the exam and the students who fail in the exam that's where the difference lies because the students who Uh, get great marks in these exams they focus on their mistakes because jo aapko yaad hai wo to yaad hai na usse bar bar yaad karke kuch nahi hoga jo nahi yaad jahan aap galti kar sakte hain us pe focus karna important hai and that is the reason why you need to make flash cards for two cases number 1 you need to make flash cards for all the chapters and number 2 you need to make flash cards for all the mistakes that you have made so far if in case you have a numerical based question paper for example you have uh, a question paper where numericals will come formulas will come make sure you have flash cards for all, all those formulas if in case you are not able to get certain uh, words right for example there are definitions and you don't remember what that particular word means make sure you have flash cards where on one side you have that word written and when you flip that page on the back side you have the definition written so just like we have coffee with karan flash cards where karan johar looks at the flash card and asks questions to the celebrities 
similarly you have to have that quiz session with yourself you look at the definition and then you ask yourself what does that mean and then you flip back to see whether what you said was right and it matches to what you have written so with that note i come to an end of this lecture i hope that this technique will help you to master certain concepts where you were struggling in your UGC net exam preparation. If you have not gone to my website and checked out the past year question papers, then you can go and have a look at them. I have uploaded all the past year question papers for paper one and two along with solved answers. So you can go and practice from those questions. With that note, I take your leave. That's it for this video lecture. We'll meet very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com.